All right. Oh, I'm just realizing now. Hello, you wonderful souls. Welcome to a cheeky song of the week video and a deep dive into this week's song of the week choice, which is by a band out of Hamburg, Germany called Planes. The tune is Snakes. But I'm just realizing I have yet to... Search and play for you the extremely high-end intro, which looks like that. Oh, bro, it's just like... <laughs> Song of the week. Song of the week. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll dive into what was at radio.com on the homepage. Oh, hang on a second. Let's zoom in, Steve, to 200% so that it is clear and legible for you. A conversation with Spielbergs. I'm going to be announcing another three after I've made this video and uploaded it to the old Patreon. And a conversation with Spielbergs out of Oslo in Norway is going to be tomorrow, should you be watching this on Wednesday the 20th when it's released, at 11 a.m. I'll go live on Twitch, and that's twitch.tv slash radio, probably around 10.40, 10.45, and then they'll join me at 8 p.m. their time, GMT, plus two hours. Lovely jubbly. Now, there are variable ways to keep up to date with who I'm speaking to, when, where, and when. When, where, and when. Good job on that one, Brain. And that's in the Discord. I'll make events. And nine of you have already said, oh, send me a reminder five minutes before this event starts, which is fabulous. Thank you. I'll post on Twitter, on Patreon, and always on the homepage. So you'll, you'll notice that I've switched out. If you ever go to the website, you'll notice that I've switched out what is usually the logo here to whack in the Spielbergs. And I'll be adding one, two, three other bands to that. What do you mean you can't load? Probably because I'm so zoomed in. Will it load it now? Yes. Because this is the band in question. Planes, we're going to watch this. Song of the week is Snakes, as I said at the start of this a few minutes back. Sent a Sonia there because they were part of the conversation with last week. Kale Gontier of Saint Sonia. Lovely gentleman. Anyway, so what I can confirm, for those of you that might be watching this and if you've not seen the announcements yet or if I haven't even done them yet, which I haven't technically, is that I'll be speaking with Planes, this band, on Sunday at what time was it? 10.30 a.m. So I'll go live on Twitch just after 10. And then on Thursday next week, I'm going to be speaking with Stuck on Planet Earth out of Ontario, Canada. That'll be at 10 a.m. And also next week is going to be a conversation with Gene. I can't confirm just when yet because there's two different days. We might go Monday or Tuesday in and around 10 or 11 a.m. And hopefully also the Lucas State next week, if not the week after. Again, in and around that 10 to 11 a.m. start because for most of these bands, they're on the other side of the planet or they're on the east side of North America. And so, yeah, that's just usually the time I find works out best for all. Right, so let's close down my Zoom so I know what's up with that. I'm hopeful that I have fixed the slight delay with my lips moving to when you hear words in Streamlabs. It's a 250 millisecond tweak I've done that should sync everything up. Because I was mildly, initially bummed to see that that K.O. Gontier interview when it uploaded to YouTube, it seems to have come out of sync completely. And I'm like, do I completely redo that or just leave it? Is this had the most traction of any interview within the first 24 hours, which is where YouTube tries to get you to. It's not the end of the world. Eh, 25 views, maybe I'll take it down. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But speaking about this song of the week and playing, so let's dive into the song of the week portal. Look at all these other artists you could check out. A.A. Williams, Spielberg, Spirit Box, Rainwolf, Sick Joy, Loot, Starbenders, The Lucas State, Press Club, Gene, Done videos on all of those. Started doing the weekly Patreon videos. I think from, I think Gene was the first, you know. I don't recall doing it for Broken Love and Nova Twins. I did do one for Dead Pony and Vagra Boys. Oh, right, yeah, 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 and Bong Lord. Yeah, 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 this doesn't run in order. I'm just reminding myself that this is not in order. You'll always find the most recent one top left if you come to the website, however. Just to be clear. So I got Snakes and uh, the lead singer Chris to send me some updates and a bit of a bio write-up. Let's zoom this in for you to 200%. You know we need it. And their bio reads, Planes is all about big riffs, aggression, infectious hooks, and standout unique and crazy vocals. 
from frontman Chris Reardon. Pulling influences from the likes of Queens of the Stone Age, Idols and Turnstile, the band mixes with their very own blend of different cultural backgrounds and members from the UK, Hong Kong, Tal Pinas from Israel and David Dizzy Solry and Max Mader from Germany. Frontman Reardon's vocals are unique, powerful, passionate, and he takes on personas and characters depending on the lyrics and mood of the song. Piggies, for example, is sung from the perspective of a judgmental protagonist as he organises a house party. Inspired by the book Animal Farm by George Orwell, Reardon transforms into the character in full force, delivering vocals with a feeling of bitchiness, sarcasm, and dogmatism. The song then explodes into an anthem-like chorus. On the song Snakes, Snakes, Reardon's vocals are brutal and aggressive as he passionately sings about the disintegration of a relationship. He recognises that his partner has manipulated him into blaming himself for everything, and there is an angst and frustration delivered in his vocals. The band sound tight, pushing tension toward, uh, forward rather, as the chorus hits. Snakes breaks into a jazz section, tempo change, and time signature shift before entering the second chorus. The guitar riff is simply uh, simple and catchy, simply brilliant. <laughs> second time today. Uh, made to add subtle guitar licks carefully throughout, carefully thought through, rather with, uh, with, rather with precision, adding color with Reardon playing, uh, playing second guitar. I, I started reading this quote, fucking awesome. It's going off the rails a bit near the end. Playing second guitar, fattening up the sound and adding more subtitles and licks into the track. Pinner's bass is fat and deliberate, adding licks throughout the track with dance between the guitars and vocals. Dizzy's drumming is played with precision, subtly pushing the track as he plays roto toms in the drum fills, creating an even more unique punk song. Roto toms. Let's look that up. Remo Roto Tom's demo. That is massively distorting. There we go. Hi, I'm Mariano with Guitar Center. Today we're taking a look at the Remo Roto Tom's. Rototoms are single-headed toms that you can adjust the pitch by rotating them, hence the name Rototom. Cool thing about Rototoms is you can kind of fine-tune them on the fly to complement the sound of your drum kit. Another cool thing about Rototoms is you get three drums for not a lot of money, so it's the easiest way to like double the amount of sounds on your drum kit. This particular set comes with a six inch, an eight inch, and a 10 inch Rototom. These Rototoms are fitted with Remo pinstripe heads, very durable and also add to the sharp attack of these toms. All three Rototoms are mounted on the Roto track. The cool thing about that is you're not really stuck with the 6, 8, 10 combination. You can move them around and create unique sound combinations. This particular set comes with a double brace Remo stand. What's great about that is all three toms are mounted to that one stand, making it easy for you to move it around the kit. So let me demonstrate how you can adjust the tuning on the fly on these Roto toms. So just to give you guys an idea, because as a drummer, I'm familiar with rotor toms. I'm familiar with pinstripes. I actually used those skins for a fair while there. I like them. I, I went through everything over many years just to see what was the best fix. It's like having a, a motorbike. Hang on, I have a motorbike, but I don't do this with my motorbike, where you can just customize and play around with it. Like my brother's Land Rover. That's probably a better example, because I haven't touched a motorbike other than switching the exhaust on and off and putting a louder one on there, you know. <laughs> Third time today. So... Let's dive in to their first ever single release that was The Wolf. The Wolf Plains. Uh, there we go. Three months ago. This band is so promising.
I just adore these thick, the thick textured guitars. The production on this is fantastic. It's not reinventing the wheel. It's just, it's dancing with the wheel, knowing damn well what the wheel is, doing it really fucking effectively. Like, and obviously the, the band is in their infancy, but we don't know just how many songs they have in the back pocket. We don't know how many shows they've played, if they've played any shows because of the pandemic and their first release showing up only three months ago when the gates start to open again and bands get out there and do their thing. But this is what I'll find out when I converse with them all on Sunday. But this to me seems like a good song that you'd open the set with. There's not too much in terms of space to sing along. It's just like a... An introduction. Here's who we are. Here's the tones we produce. Here's the kind of feel we're going to have. Here's the passion. Warm up. You've got two and a half minutes. Then we're going to blow the fucking roof off this joint. That, that's, the, that's the impression I get from this song. I love the cheekiness of the play with Chris's vocals here in these sort of almost pre-verses. They're like faux verses, aren't they? <laughs> Just a sort of chatting. What, what's he saying? There? Is that freak with me on the left and why or why? No, freak with me on the right and why or why on the left. Is that what he's saying? <laughs> Is it just sort of mumbling? Like that sounded like, I don't really, I'm not really into architecture. That's what I heard. Shit you not. That's what I heard here. <laughs> No, that's kind of an ugly building for an architectural creation. I'm not sure. It's it could, <laughs> We'll find out. It's just got such a great groove to it. And again, like I, I'd be repeating myself, I feel really, I just like that it's it's like almost BC Lotto. Play, you, you play, know your limit, play within it, right? The slogan they use for those that might gamble and try and win the big ticket every week. And they know their ability. They know what they can do, but they're not pushing it in this song. There's no flash to this. There's just grounded security and knowing the ability that they have. That's what I'm picking up from it. And again, this is their first ever single release. It's not got them the most plays on the streaming services, just under 2,000 on Spotify. I think under 10,000 overall on all the other places that they're at compared to Snakes that has just lift off. But again, I think that's the cleverness that I want to talk with them about on Sunday is the plan here. What's the plan here, right? Wet the whistle, get that piggies out there that we'll jump into now that is a brilliant song. And then bam, is Snakes the one they were hoping would take off? Because it is. All three, I think, are brilliant. But again, this is what I would feel is like your, your, your set opener or your mid-set. Just like, okay, let's just, let's just click into what we're really good at. And it's a great example of the energy of planes. And then build everything else around it. Cool shot spitting the water on. Even if you fucked that up, you, no one would know. <sighs> oh, shit. One, two. No, you're not going to know. One, two, one, two, three, four. 
Now that's interesting. He's looking at himself at the end there. <laughs> so I'd like to know, because that didn't really get played throughout the story of the song at all, unless I'm missing something. And he's been wearing two outfits the entire video, and I didn't pick up on that. Mm, okay, I'm going to ask about that on Sunday. All right, let's dive into Piggies. Wolf behind the scenes. Well, hang on a second. Let's be the 54th view. I'm ready. Simple oh my God, it's, I look like such a fucking idiot with this on. Yeah, it's hard to know if it's an abandoned warehouse that has been sort of half fitted to be a really cool music video venue per se it's sweet yeah tal don't do it man Can you go there? tal's got a really bad back yeah yeah cool. yeah that's good so now i'm in the middle and see your boat yeah a little bit more next little yeah yeah that looks epic as fuck yeah, yeah. Damn, that is a loud difference there, editing team. Oh god, this is gonna be hard, okay. I might have to do it. Go to anything. I feel like it's a bunch of footage that we just didn't see. What's better? What's your exhausted face? Like, back in the chair. Try both. Okay, try both. Nothing face. How was that though? Works, yeah. Loving the use of any. Spit on, on, the, on the floor. Perfect. This is very good. Yeah. Okay. That's one way of laying a marker, yeah. just drop a goblet. <laughs> 36 shots. Good job. Good job. All right, let's dive into piggies. So, to remind ourselves here. Chris said of Piggies that it was inspired by George Orwell. Where is it? Animal Farm, George Orwell. So it's a song from the perspective of a judgmental protagonist as he organizes a house party. Chris transforms into the character in full force, delivering the vocals with bitchiness, sarcasm and dogmatism. So, does the music video echo the song content? Good morning to all you hot people out there. This is Radio 12 bringing you the best tunes this year. Crazy Jerry's on the mic. Say something to the people, Jerry. Nah, 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 nah. Classic Jerry. Moving on to our next hit, the one you've all been waiting for. Here's Planes with their single, Piggies. This guy, instantly into it. Instantly. Didn't even, not even the second riff was being played. Into it. <laughs> Don't you invite them to the party They've got noses like little piggies Not as smart and with big bellies Next one, next one He's got no chat, maybe one story She's got hot friends, says they're naughty I've got two cents, could be a problem Not party Check my eyes
So I've mentioned this in other videos that I've done where these symbols are basically practice symbols. So you're not going to get anywhere near as much noise out of them, especially when you're recording in an apartment or a flat, depending on where you live on the planet, and choose the word of which to call it. guy getting ready for a house party or to hide in a hedge and try and scare someone in the TA. <laughs> Territorial. I nearly bought some H&M overalls a few weeks back. And I, the more I see Chris in it, the more I'm like, ah, I, I think I've got to try it too. You've got stash from last week's party. Let's roll. Party roll. Check my eyes. Check your eyes. Check your eyes. Check my eyes. Check your eyes. Are you coming? I'm a big fan of that snort that Chris does. It's pretty good. Back to this teddy bear destroying psycho. It's like he didn't know if he's dressed to be a part of the Cirque du Soleil or go to an all night rave at the youth club or continue to just shred anything that's got duck feathers inside a pillow or some sort of stuffy with fluffy inside of its tummy. Uh, he only destroyed one pillow. Yeah. Just the one. Not nearly enough, uh, I was going to say flowers, not nearly enough feathers on the wall. On the wall? Just some appreciation for his tattoo artist. You know, that is... A really cool piece, and it's incredibly hard to get that line work. is amazing. That is a really cool tattoo. Side note, psycho pillow guy. Appreciate your work. What a great song, Jerry. What did you think? I completely agree, Jerry. He's always been a tastemaker on our show, guys. Always been a tastemaker. Next is Spice Girls from the UK. <laughs> 36 shots, got the same crew. When are we going to get a video for snakes? Because that is not out there just yet. So this is the song of the week choice.
this reminds me a lot of I was just checking Jamie Lenman. I was just checking that they haven't worked with Jamie Lenman, who I've mentioned an awful lot in the history of what was that. I play a lot of his solo stuff. But when I was growing up in and around uh, Guildford in my later teenage years is where this band Ruben appeared from that Jamie was in. They all met at the ACM Academy of Music there. Blame Thrower, still one of my favorite songs all these years later. And I just, I hear the passion and the delivery and the ability in planes that, re- that reminds me of this song. I'm not a fan of comparing. I'm not comparing. I'm just saying it reminds me of a memory that I've cherished for many years, which is how good this song is. And I remember just when we first got cable or like Sky in England and watching this, just desperately waiting for it to come up on Scuzz TV or Kerrang. Oh, look, there's Scuzz right now. <laughs> God, sorry about some of this audio distorting for you. It was a different time back then. People didn't care about me. that is extremely, extremely loud let me just adjust that for you there we go we all have responsibilities we all have a social debt And if there is a man free of guilt I haven't met him yet So now you're back to your corner You're under verbal attack And also for me, when I saw Jamie Lemon in a band And I was like, there's a lead singer in a band wearing glasses And he doesn't really give a shit That's not to say that there's never been a lead singer in a band, Elton John Who's not been successful but at this time in my life, I was seriously just shredding, tearing myself apart. Who am I? What do I look like? What do I want to look like? Who do I want to be? How am I going to be that? How am I going to look like that? How will I be accepted? Just feeling very, very alone, even though I very much wasn't alone with family and, and some friends around me, just really confused in my mind and not really wanting to be on the planet anymore and just trying to search for the best version of me. And so when I saw this, this became an anthem to me because I was like, Okay, all right, okay. Then I'd started this performing arts school at the time where my my drama teacher, rather, Clive, said, if you're going to be a git, be a git with pride. And that stuck with me for half a lifetime at this point in my mid-30s. And just thinking, like, okay, well, this is me. Like, this is what I, this is who I am. I'm this goofy, goofy, goofy ball. Let's goofy, goofy ball on. And then seeing this, I was like, oh, fuck yeah, I'm going to start teaching myself drums and I can be a rock star. I walk down memory lane, it's trippy shit, but this song is so good. They pointing fingers like guns in your face and nobody got your back. You got to beg somebody for all your big up and thanks or someone else will pay for all the back of the device and you should take responsibility for what you do. But... So I'm gonna i I'm gonna end that there because it's all about planes right now. But it just took me down, it just took me into that rabbit hole. I'll turn this back up. And those are the toms that they were talking about way, way, way back, right? With those little... Where is it here? I have to excuse my tired brain today. Where is it? Vocals are vocals are vocals. Chorus breaks into this, the guitar riff, subtle bass, second guitar, precision, roto toms. Oh my God, that took me so long to catch up with that. Dum, 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 dum. dum.
Do you know what we should do is we should we should watch Snakes on a Plane that I've never actually watched. Muted. Snakes attack. I understand. All right. Yeah, that'll do it. This film looks absolutely awful. This scene genuinely terrified me more than some horror films I've seen. I may scare easily, but where empathy is concerned, the scene was nightmarish. This movie has made my fear of snakes even worse. I watched this when I was like six. Maybe scared to go to the bathroom because of the scene where the man goes to the bathroom and gets attacked by snakes. I always was scared of snakes coming out of the toilet but because I saw on the news once when I was a kid that there was a snake that got stuck in someone's sewer because they tried to flush it when they realized that they couldn't grow or keep anacondas in their home. It wasn't an anaconda, whatever it was. But this, this couldn't possibly happen unless the plane you were on was called Indiana Airlines, right? Is that a bad... Oh my god, really? Wow. She just slept through it all? What was I thinking? What a brilliant song, though. The fourth time today. Oh, my gosh. Another wonderful, chilled. I'm very much I'm just in a, in a wonderfully chill. I'm really warm. Now that I've watched all those snakes that I know are mostly CGI and not real. But damn. How is there so many on that plane? I'm sure I'm not going to go and watch the film to find out. It's not. It's, it can be a question that, that never gets answered unless you've seen the film, in which case, please feel free. Spoiler away. Give me a quick rundown because uh, I'm never going to watch it beyond that little couple minutes there. It's like when my friend Phil showed me Games of Thrones. Showed me the scene a few years back. And was like, if you're going to watch the show, here's what you've got to see. And it was 90 seconds and that's all I've ever watched of it. It looked incredible. Uh, now, maybe incredible is the wrong use of word because I didn't, obviously I didn't bother looking it up afterwards. Anyway. That is Song of the Week number 39, Planes. I'm so flipping excited to speak to them on Sunday and just dive into their minds. Who are these four fellas? How do they come to be together? How do they go about? What's the plan? What is the plan moving forward? What's the plan now? And everything in between, really. So, yeah. Oh, gosh, I just looked and thought I wasn't recording the whole thing. <laughs> a nice, gentle song of the week adventure down a rabbit hole today. And sometimes I feel bad that I've not really given you, if I've not given you too much information on it. But with the, with the band This New, there's not much more other than that. Barely blogged. What they have been blogged, I didn't bother showing you because it was all using the same bio and information that Chris emailed me and emailed those blogs as well. But one, I think, planes that with these next three or four songs are going to really show us what they've got in their back pocket. And I think they're on the right track. 
for being a really flipping well just a world touring rock band a really flipping exciting band they already are no point in me saying that they're on the right track whatever you're doing the rest of your day and as always please look after yourself and I hope there's some fun and smiles involved in the rest of it too because we've got to cherish that positive until next time cheerio